Grace, you said, I feel knowledge is mainly surface level versus engineering and business expertise. Yep, 100%. So we need people who you don't need to be an engineer. There's a story I like to tell. I work with a charity in London. They got given some money and they got given free training packages by one of the big four advisory companies. I won't name them, but they were given, I don't know, a couple of hundred thousand plus sessions with business experts. And one of the experts was an AI expert. And he came in and he talked to them about large language models, neural networks, gradient descent, back propagation. He talked to them about how artificial intelligence and generative AI works under the hood. And these executives who ran this charity did not need to know that and left more confused a few weeks later. And I noticed that there's like hesitancy, like, Lots of people thinking, oh, AI is very technical, it's very difficult. It's because this guy who had two PhDs and had written a, a textbook about machine learning had taught them the basics. And it taught them how, not what they should be using it for. So I had to break through that and I said, can you use WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah we can use WhatsApp. Cool, you can use ChatGPT. And then basically got them into ChatGPT, which this guy hadn't bothered doing. I got them into ChatGPT and showed them this is how you talk to it. You literally have a chat with it, hence ChatGPT. And you could see like the relief on people's face. Oh, what? You can, what? <laughs> you just type and it answers? Yeah. And then I showed them voice mode. Oh, you can just talk to it. The level of knowledge is very low. And what you can do as somebody who trains, as somebody who helps, is mainly you're helping people work through mental barriers and psychological barriers against usage. You give them a basic prompt engineering framework. I give them Risen and I walk them through how they do that step by step. And that means that even people who use ChatGPT casually, they also get something because it can increase their efficiency. Then you answer a few questions that are specific to their particular niche. So what you can do is somebody who has niche industry and business experience, you can help be a translator. You can bridge between the world of artificial intelligence and whoever you are talking to. I mainly talk to marketing companies because digital marketing is my background. However, I have facilitators in the education sector. They are good at talking to teachers. I have people who work in the real estate sector. They go and talk to realtors, estate agents, and they can speak the language, use the metaphors, the stories to explain why this technology is important. That's more important than being able to explain the engineering behind it, because most people do not need to know to use the internet. We don't need to know what a URL is. We use the internet every day. Learning the engineering, learning how to create these things, really cool, but you need a machine learning degree, probably a PhD. Most of the value we can add is not at that level. It's at helping people use this in daily life. People still need help with that.